using children as objects for sexual arousal is a despicable crime, and penal, the penal code must require those convicted of this crime to register as sex offenders. With that, your, uh, Mr. Chairman, I'll be happy to answer any questions that the committee does have. Chair, uh, but it's, uh, I want a clarification. It's already a misdemeanor to video re record a person without their consent? It is a video, but it is not registrable as a sex offense. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> Even if it's not intended? R regardless of the, uh, again, the, the 647J2, which is the underlying section, uh, has a sexual intent requirement on it. So in order to be guilty of that section, it must not simply be taping an individual, but taping with a sexual intent. Even when they have that requisite intent under the current law, they are not required to register as a sex offender. And then how would that be enforced? How do you know about the intent of a person? How would they? Well, in order to be guilty of the offense to begin with, a jury has to find that they were in fact not only guilty of taping the person, but they also have to have acted with that intent, that sexual intent. So in order for them to even be guilty of this offense to even get to registration, a jury has to find, uh, or they have to plead, uh, that they were actually committing the offense with a sexually motivated intent. And the criminal justice system is already overburdened, so this would put yet another duty on them. I, I don't necessarily uh, agree with that, simply because a lot of times uh, this leads to more egregious conduct, and a lot of these individuals would probably have to register if they were guilty of other crimes. We're talking about a relatively small portion that are simply falling through the cracks that we're not getting to, and they're not registering, and individuals are not knowing. Um, one a specific case that we had out of our office is where a man had actually carved a hole out of a backpack and was walking around a carnival taping little girls as they rode on the carnival rides up their skirts. Um, he was only charged with this section and if convicted that individual will not be required to register as a sex offender and no matter where he lives people will not know uh, that he was uh, engaging in this type of behavior. Mm -hmm. my, my concern is that we get a little overzealous in the bull. 